welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that simplify the following fractions. The first one is 15 is to 1 and 2 by 3. Second part, 3 by 14 is to 6 by 7. Third part, 6 is to 1.2. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First one is, any ratio in the division form like 2 is to 3 can be written as 2 upon 3. And to simplify any ratio, we reduce its fraction to the lowest form let us see an example for this. Now 2 is to 4 can be written as 2 upon 4 and since both numerator and denominator are divisible by 2 so we write it as 1 by 2. So we have reduced the fraction 2 by 4 to its lowest form which is 1 by 2. And the second result is any fraction of the form A upon B whole upon C upon D is equal to AD upon BC. And now consider a mixed fraction two and one by three. Now we can simplify the given mixed fraction as now for the numerator we will multiply two by 3 and then add 1 to it so it will become 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 1 so 6 plus 1 is 7 so in the numerator we will get 7 and the denominator remains same which is 3 so on simplifying the next fraction 2 and 1 by 3 we get 7 by 3. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. And now we will start the solution of the given question. Let us start with the first part. In the first part we have to simplify 15 is to 1 and 2 by 3. Now we know that every number is divisible by 1. So we can write any number x in the form x by 1. Also we can write 15 as 15 by 1. Now using the first result of the key idea, we can write 15 is to 1 and 2 by 3 as, now 15 can be written as 15 by 1, whole upon 1 and 2 by 3. Now, 
In the key idea, we have discussed how to simplify the mixed fraction. So here, this will be equal to 15 upon 1 whole upon. Now the mixed fraction 1 and 2 by 3 will be equal to 3 into 1 plus 2 which will be equal to 5 which is the numerator and the denominator will be 3 so the mixed fraction will become 5 upon 3. Now using the second result which is given in the key idea this will be equal to 15 into 3 upon 1 into 5. Now 5 is the common factor of 5 and 15. So dividing the numerator and denominator by 5, we get 15 into 3 upon 5 all upon 1 into 5 upon 5. Now 5 into 3 is 15 and 5 into 1 is 5. So this is equal to 3 into 3 whole upon 1 which is equal to 9 upon 1 or We can write it as 9 is to 1. So this is the required simplified ratio for the first part. Now let us start with the second part. Now in the second part, we have to simplify the ratio, which is 3 upon 14 is to 6 upon 7. Now, this ratio can be written as 3 upon 14 whole upon 6 upon 7 which can be further written as 3 into 7 upon 14 into 6. Now 3 into 2 is 6. So 3 is the common factor of 3 and 6. So we divide numerator and denominator by 3 and we get 3 into 7 upon 3 whole upon 14 into 6 upon 3. Now 3 into 1 is 3 and 3 into 2 is 6. So this is equal to 7 upon 14 into 2. Now 7 into 2 is 14. So 7 is the common factor of 7 and 14. Now again dividing numerator and denominator by 7. We get 7 upon 7 whole upon 14 into 2 upon 7. Now 7 into 1 is 7 and 7 into 2 is 14. So this is equal to 1 upon 2 into 2 which is equal to 1 upon 4 or you can write it as 1 is to 4. So this is the simplified ratio for the second part. Now let us start with the third part. Now in the third part we have to simplify the ratio which is given as 6 is to 1.2. Now this can be written as 6 upon 1.2. Now we will remove the decimal. So in the numerator we can write 6 as 6 upon 1. Whole upon in the denominator we can write 1.2 as 12 upon 10 which is further equal to 6 into 10 whole upon 1 into 12. Now 6 is the common factor of 6 and 12. So dividing the numerator and denominator by 6, we get 6 into 10 upon 
6 whole upon 1 into 12 upon 6. Now 6 into 1 is 6 and 6 into 2 is 12. So this is equal to 1 into 10 whole upon 1 into 2. Now 2 is the common factor of 2 and 10. So again dividing the numerator and denominator by 2. This will be equal to 1 into 10 upon 2 whole upon 1 into 2 upon 2. Now 2 into 5 is 10 and 2 into 1 is 2. So this is equal to now 1 into 5 is 5 and 1 into 1 is 1. So this is equal to 5 upon 1 or you can write it as 5 is to 1. So this is the simplified ratio for the third part. And this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.